Anisha, not her real name, moved into this refuge after fleeing an abusive relationship. She says she was exploited financially, physically and emotionally, leaving her afraid to even leave the house. They didn't support me. My husband didn't support me. When I asked, when he didn't come home for three to four days, after four days he came home. I asked him, where have you been? I asked him, do you need food? He pushed me. He abused me. His parents didn't support me. They supported their son. At this refuge, they focus on helping South Asian women and children fleeing domestic abuse. And during this pandemic, they've seen a huge increase in requests. Between staff, we've been managing those calls, managing those referrals. Um, and, you know, the ones that we haven't been able to support, we have been signposting them, giving out the relevant national helpline numbers for them to access that support. Um, and, and it's very difficult because, you know, you want to support everyone and it's, you know, you're, you're limited to what you can accept because we only have that one vacancy that was available. Since March, social housing providers Stonewater have seen a threefold increase in referrals. Our services, uh, they're important all year round, but since lockdown began, we've seen a huge increase in the demand for these domestic abuse services. Uh, we've had over 30 referrals alone for just four vacant spaces throughout March and April. Uh, so that's really demonstrating that there's, there's huge demand for this kind of service. And it's places like this Anisha believes are a lifeline. This place is very important for us because if this place wasn't here, our in-laws would threaten us. They'll send us to Pakistan because they didn't respect us and kicked us out. The message is lockdown doesn't mean you have to stay as they help families turn the page towards a brighter future. The Ochikomba, Beep Silik East.